Hey now everybody, Jamie here, and today is the very first in a new series of videos that I'm gonna start doing going forward called Oddities. This one is all about strange, obscure, funny, just plain weird games that I've picked up over the years. I love collecting these weirdo games. This first one I picked up at Rehoboth Beach. There's a little store called Gidgets Gadgets Retro Emporium. This place is awesome. It's a little punk rock novelty store. It's a record store. It has toys and games and all kinds of weird stuff in it. Uh, they even have a Star Trek action figure section in this tiny little store, which is awesome. But they have board games there. And this particular one caught my eye and I picked it up and took it home as my souvenir for my trip to Rehoboth Beach. And this one is called The Black Cat Fortune Telling Game. Now this one was first published in 1897 by Parker Brothers. It's only 14 years after they were founded. They were founded in Salem, Massachusetts, the same place where the witch trials happen. So it's awesome that I have this fortune telling game from a company that started in Salem, Massachusetts. Now the game's been reprinted a number of times throughout the years and I think most notably in the 1950s and I believe this is a reproduction of the 1950s version of the game. Now it's supposed to be a fortune telling game. It's not really a game to it. It's more of an activity. Uh, it tries to tell your fortune in a sort of not so clever way, but despite not being that terribly clever, it's a ton of fun to actually do this game. So let's jump over to the table and see how you play the Black Cat fortune telling game. So it's a small little box. It was $6.99 at the store I bought it at, so it's dirt cheap. When you open up the box, you're gonna find a sheet of rules that teaches you how to tell someone's fortune with this deck of cards. Now, if you notice, there are six different categories here. There's the past, the present, the future, love matters, general advice, and danger. And these are the different categories that you can tell someone their fortune from. This deck is made up of cards that have those different categories on them. There's four different cards from each different category. Now, of course, the front side has cute artwork of cats on it. And that's what's very funny about this game after you find out what some of the fortunes are. So anyway, uh, if you flip those cards over, you're gonna find a series of sentence fragments on the back. And there's a number that corresponds to each one of those sentence fragments. That number could be one through four. You're gonna shuffle up each category and you're gonna deal them out in a row. And you're gonna be looking at those cards, looking for a row where all the numbers line up in succession. So you're looking for one, two, three, four from left to right on those cards. And when you find that, you read those sentence fragments and that is gonna be your fortune within that category. And you go through each one of the six categories and that's what they are. So here, this particular one that I'm gonna be looking at is the love matters category. So let's find out what our fortune is from this particular one. You will start off in married life joined to one whom you do not love. This will lead to a separation, but your second marriage will bring you happiness. Now this is what makes this game funny. Uh, this game doesn't pull any punches whatsoever. Uh, some of these are really mean and bad and you don't want these fortunes. I think this might be a remnant of, you know, the 1950s and like earlier when this game came out. They don't candy coat anything. They give you some bad fortunes here. This one literally told me that the marriage that I'm in is going to end and I'm going to find somebody else that I'll find happiness. And that particular one is the one that I got when I was sitting next to my wife and her parents. Now we had a big laugh over it. We were goofing around and, and busting balls about it. And it was funny. Uh, you know, we know that there's no mysticism in these cards. It's just nonsense. It's just for fun. But the fact of the matter is, there's some mean ones in here. As a matter of fact, some of them say, you're rude and your friends don't like you and you need to do this and this and this to fix it. It's so funny how some of them are just mean. Of course, there's nice ones as well, but more often than not, we got the rude ones. It, that's what makes it fun because it kind of insults you. It starts some weird dynamics in the group where there's a conversation starts, there's some ball breaking and some fun going on. That's what makes it fun. Now, honestly, the game's not very clever at all. I mean, the way that it formulates these sentences, you could just essentially put all these sentences in a hat and pull them out and that'd be the same thing. It's more about the going through the process of doing the fortune that really feels like it becomes a thing. It becomes real in a sense when you have to go through a process, even though the process is very superfluous. Uh, nonetheless, I think the game's kind of fun. I think the game's kind of interesting. It's a conversation starter. It's kind of a little 
one-off event thing that you could do at a party that people would get a laugh out of and then you'd move on. There isn't tons of replayability. I mean, it's not, there's no replayability because you're not really playing anything. It's just kind of a fun thing you can do. But I think it's definitely an interesting curio to have in my collection. It's my souvenir from my trip to Rehoboth Beach that time. And whenever I pull it out, I'm gonna remember that vacation. And I have another weird oddity in my game collection. Thanks so much, everybody. If you've enjoyed this video, please do us a giant favor by subscribing to the channel and clicking that wacky bell icon. If you're into board games, miniatures games, role-playing games, we have a bunch of audio podcasts you might enjoy. You can find those at thesecretcabal.com or on iTunes and Stitcher.